Hello ladies and gentlemen, um, in the next couple of video series I'm going to show you how to do different friction force problems. Now I'm not going to read off the um, problem to you directly to save some time, um, so please pause the video, read the problem, and try to solve it along with me. Okay. So when you first do these uh, friction problems, or any force problems in fact, uh, what you want to do is you want to draw a free body diagram. Okay, that is your first step, free body diagram. Okay. So in this situation, we have a child and a sled, and they are going to be pulled by uh, someone else. Okay, so that's my child on a sled. Um, the mass of the child and the sled is 10 kilograms. So let's draw that in there. Okay, let's draw the uh, free body diagram. All right, here we have a force of gravity going down. And here we have the normal force between the sled and the ground going up. Here we have a force being pulled to the right. And of course, the force of friction, and in this case, um, static friction, going to the left. All right, now that you do that, what you want to do um, in these problems is find so what you want to do is you want to find the net force in the y direction okay um, in, in in this situation here you're doing that to find the uh, normal force okay all right so here we have f y net is equal to we have normal force going up so that's going to be positive um, minus the force of gravity going down right now because the child isn't being lifted um, or being uh, tunneled into the ground I guess uh, we know that the FY net is zero okay because it's not going up nor down and we have the normal force minus f of g. Now I'm going to make a little side note here that f of g is equal to the mass times the gravity. Okay, f of g is mass times gravity um, or acceleration due to gravity on earth. And so for us that would be 9.8. Right? Now notice, um, I'll get there in a second, that for gravity even though we know it as negative 9.8 here I'm only going to write down 9.8 and the reason for that is the negative is already taken care of um, out here okay let me highlight that the negative is already being taken care of with that negative sign right there all right so continuing to solve the uh, y net problem we find that the normal force is equal to 98 newtons now the reason we do that is to actually find the force of friction okay now the last part is actually solving the problem okay finding normal force is like a halfway step All right now in this situation here we need to know that any moving object from rest okay any moving object from rest, meaning that it's just starting to move, means that the force of static friction is equal to the applied force. Okay, Or in another way of putting it, your fx net has to equal zero. All right? Now remember, the object just started to move. And so what we need to do, our step three, is basically to create a F net equation in the X direction. Okay. And so if we take a look at the X direction, we have all the way on the left a negative force of friction. Remember, it's negative because it's pointing in the opposite direction of movement. And in this scenario, that is to the left. And we have a applied force here. Now because it is just moving the fx net is zero ok 
okay? And our f, f of s, um, I'm going to make a little side note up here, okay? Um, that the equation for friction is the coefficient of friction, or mu, times the normal force. So that would be negative mu normal force plus the applied force. And we're looking for the applied force. Um, and luckily for us, we have the other pieces of formation. Okay? The coefficient of friction in this scenario is 0 0.35. Coefficient of friction has no units. Okay? Please write that down. Coefficient of friction has no units. And we found that the normal force was 98 newtons plus the applied force. Okay. Continuing with the math, um, we find that if we plug this into the calculator, we get negative 34.3 plus F. Um, and then we're gonna, I'm going to add 34.3 to both sides to get our force is equal to 34.3 newtons, okay? And that is how much force is required to get the sled moving.